Okay, hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris, and it is currently a little later than I wanted it to be. It's uh, like quarter of 11 in the morning. And I meant to get up earlier for like, I don't know, 9.30. But since it was Saturday to Sunday, and my brain knows that I don't have to go into work today, I couldn't fall asleep. I didn't fall asleep till like 4 a.m. I ended up watching Riddick and uh, yeah, the, the fourth, the fourth Riddick technically, or the third, if you want to think about Dark Fury, is not part of the movies because it's an animated short. But whatever, uh, watched that last night. But now heading out, and we're gonna go hiking on uh, Red Hill. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good old time. I just got findings. I've never found the, uh, I've never been here before. I haven't gone on a, on a, an actual hike on a trail. Um, Besides like Castle in the Clouds with Sam and Dylan that last time, it's been quite it's been quite a while. So I gotta find this trail first. I have Google Maps pulled up, so it should should pull me right to it. But it won't be that hard to find. There's no reason why it should be hard to find. It's like literally right on the road. So I just don't know if it has a sign or not. Anyway, uh, update you guys when I get there. Okay, so the thing that, the thing that I was hoping wouldn't happen happened, which is. Uh, populated right now there's like four cars and there's people walking up the hill right now so i wanted to vlog going up the trail but looks like i'll just kind of have to record i got my dslr and stuff with me um and i have a bunch of things so when i get to the top i'll be taking some pictures and whatever have you and hopefully when i get some quiet space i'll probably hang out there for a little bit i want to just kind of take some time to chill reflect and just enjoy it it's a little bit chilly but i'm okay i got I got two layers on, three layers technically, and a scarf, so should be fine. And now there's another car. Awesome. Hi. Let's take a little mini lost and found right here. Not the most beautiful time of year to go for the hike either. Hopefully when we get to the top, I don't have to deal with people. There's pretty sure I saw a group of few with a few kids. But whatever. It's a public trail. Not just mine. I just want to get some good uh some good photos. I hear that. Catch right up to them on accident. If I'm not careful, I'll get right up in their butts. Now, we're back on vlogging track. Kinda. I don't really have anything to talk about, honestly. This is a, it's a trail that Sam wanted to hike with me. We got a river up here, sounds like. Sam was bugging me. Not bugging me, wrong phrasing. She was asking me quite often to hike with her and I genuinely want to I wanted to but kept pushing it off it's kept procrastinating so I never got to it's my mistake but I'm here now waiting for warm enough weather Buddy, how you doing? It's okay.
How you doing, huh? Good boy. Or girl. Which one do you want to Yeah. I know there's, there's more people down there. <laughs> Hello. Good, how are you? That's the thing I hate about walking in the cold. So it just makes your throat burn. There's all the snow as we go higher up. Ooh, what's this? Foundation? Not only am I out of shape, but I'm also under shape. <laughs> it's also cold. It's not that cold. The air goes into your throat, gets into your lungs, no matter which way you breathe. Even though I'm a dirty mouth breather, Whenever I'm exerting energy, <clears throat> just goes straight down. Just burns. Going up this way. And it's rotted out tree. I think my problem is pacing. I just go too fast. I exert myself too soon. You know, like. Best part, I haven't even eaten anything yet. Yeah, I was surprised at how popular the trail is today. I mean, I've already seen like <clears throat> 20 people, like four dogs. I imagine it's a really good trail for dogs too. I know it's hard for you guys to, um, to really perceive the incline, but you know, it doesn't really kill, the camera kind of flattens everything out, even though it's a wide angle. It's still a nice little slant. Come on, weak little body. You can do it, friend. See the mountains up there? We're getting there. Hike back down will be easy. <clears throat> Got a drop off point over there. Check that on the way down. But you have to keep going. I got a neutral green bar when I get to the top. Actually, I got a couple. Oh, I'm hungry. Now we got some sun. There we go. Look at that, finally. Oh yeah, you start to see mountains and lakes over there. Be at the top soon enough. More snow. <clears throat> Dude, when I get home, I'm gonna go get in the fucking shower. It's gonna be awesome. Perfect way to start and refresh myself. Nice hike. Go home, take a shower. Have a day to chill. Get some writing done. Oh, we got some blue showing through. Guys, this guy's getting blue. We might get some good shots after all. Saturation, vivid colors.
And I'm sitting here thinking that while I walk up this, again, I can't help it, but bring it back to Sam, how she was walking up this by herself, enjoying the nature, but wishing, probably, hopefully, wishing she could enjoy it with me. But I have better things to do. Like sleep, play some games, make some videos. You know, pointless shit. <clears throat> I could have been out here enjoying this with the one person that gave me a light in my life. It's so fucking depressing. This isn't a way for, I'm not trying to, whenever I talk about it, I'm never trying to garner pity. I'm never trying to prod for likes. And I'm not, I don't even want you guys to give me encouraging words in the comments. Because I know. I'm aware. You guys are amazing. I'm just kind of always expressing my thoughts. And right now, my thoughts are just deep, sincere regrets. But an understanding that wouldn't have changed anything. Still, I regret not spending this time with I am mean, right now with her. So uh, you, I really don't ever have the chance. Maybe, maybe if she comes out to get her stuff, I could convince her to go on a walk with me. Who knows? I like that a lot. That's the thing that people um, possibly misunderstand about me, I assume they do, is I like being outside. I like going for hikes. I like going for walks. I love going for walks. I like when, like when we go camping, in the moment, I'm enjoying being there. But the problem is that I know that once I'm there, I can't quickly leave when I'm socially over it. Cause that's my problem. I, get, I hit a point, no matter how much fun I'm having, I hit a point where I just go, and I wanna go home. It just happens like that. And that's my severe social anxiety. It just kind of literally snaps and I just wanna go home. And then I get really depressed or in a bad mood because I can't just go home. Not that easy. So, I avoid going camping and for a hike and for many, many, many other social obligations. Not obligations, social events. Because I know that when I'm over it, I can't just leave. Not that easy. Because if I do, If I do, then I'm that guy, I'm that asshole. And I can't really explain it that well to people. It's just how it is. But once I'm in here, once I'm in the event, I'm enjoying myself, I am. It just has, it just gets to that point almost every time.
It's all about proper breathing technique. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Reset my entire lungs. One. Oh, I see the fire tower. I see it. It's like we're playing fire watch all over again. Just in time, the sky is nice pale blue. Beautiful. Alright. I've never been on the fire tower before. Check out my fire watch playthrough. <laughs> so cold and windy I'd want to sit up here for an hour. Just chill, you know? But I'm chilling. Freezing. So I gotta get moving again. Start my hike back down so I can warm back up. <clears throat> I am Hank or Henry from Firewatch. I cosplayed. Yay!
still walking back down. I didn't think I was going to record anymore, but here I am. It's just like a quiet moment. Past uh, one, besides the two girls that were at the top when I was at the top. Past another girl on the way up. As well as uh, these two guys. Look to be just a little younger than me. Just kind of walking up. Wind is cutting through right here. A quarter of the way down. So that sounds good. These are not the most comfortable walking boots. I don't have any hiking boots. I have my winter boots. I mean, I guess I could probably count as hiking boots, but they're definitely warmer, so my feet would definitely get over hot. And uh, fashionably speaking, they're much wider than my pants, so they look kind of stupid. It looks like I'm wearing fucking snowshoes. Somebody probably put that rock there. Wanted to come back and get it in a week. Now it's gone. Say so we got like a little foxhole or something right here, possibly. I'm honestly surprised I'm not finding like strings of condoms everywhere. It's a nice hollowed out stump. It's all warped, it's all knotted. It even looks like it was burnt right here. Oh, it's like spongy. Huh. It's a cursed trunk, and I just touched it. Oh, we're still going. Just so much downhill. Been hiking for a little while now. So I just found the billboard right there that uh, gives descriptions and stuff of the trails. And uh, there's like five or six different trails you can break off to. Um, and Red Hill Trail is about 1.75 miles. So, you know, a little over, that's about three and a half miles or so by the time you get done with it. Oh, we have a split. So I think I came up from this way right here. So I think I want to walk along the top one. I'll get back to where I'm going anyway. I want to walk along this top one. It's smoother. And I almost just died. Bumped into another old guy. Walking up here looks like he was listening to a podcast of sorts or some kind of broadcast show. Everyone's friendly. Everyone says hi. I never really know what to say though in those hello, how you doing conversations, you know, just passing by. I hate those. Wow, it's really cool looking up there though. And I know what you're thinking. Chris, this would be a really cool place to play airsoft. And while, you know, you might be right, it'd be fucking exhausting. <laughs> Back of the Roaring River. I gotta get the DSLR, I gotta take, gotta take some pictures of this. feels like a different day like walking back down it just feels strange like I got to the top and I was there for a whole day and then now I'm coming back down it's just it's just nice very forgetful out here all right let's go back to the car yeah a few people have showed up and left about the same amount of cars now as I was when I first got here but Cycled out a bit. 
the trail was rated as moderate on their scale, which I'd say is accurate. It says, we'll provide slight challenge for beginner hikers. And I'm definitely a beginner hiker, even though I grew up hiking and running through the woods and stuff. I don't hike often as an adult. Playing airsoft is different because this is just continuous going, but like, so this is a good trail. Um, I enjoyed the view. I definitely got some good footage on all my devices, my phone, my camera, and my GoPro. So got some fun stuff to work on today. And yeah, so I'm gonna let Sam know that I just made it down because I was talking to her off and on right there. Thanks for joining me on this walk, guys. Hopefully you had fun. And uh, if you want me to do more stuff like this, you know, let me know and I'll see what I can do this summer. Yeah.